Welcome back to The Daily Grind, everyone. So today, we're gonna to be harvesting these black-eyed peas, uh, southern pea, um, field pea. There's a whole bunch of different names for them, but essentially the same plant. Now, this is a certain variety. I'm honestly forgetting the name. I think it's the California black-eyed pea, but there is a couple different types of black-eyed peas out there that you can get. They have pink-eyed peas as well. They're pretty cool. And if you guys remember, I planted these as a cover crop, uh, but I did wanna wait for them to produce beans so I can actually harvest them. And that is now. So there's still a few ones with green on them, but most of these have died back. The, the pods are pretty crispy now, should be harvestable. So I'm gonna bring you guys in and show you. I don't remember the date that I planted these right off the top of my head, but I'm gonna put that right there and I'll let you guys know exactly the date of when I planted so you can see. But today is November 6th, so you guys can take a look at that. I'm gonna bring you guys in. I'll show you guys exactly what we got going on here. These are the beans. You can see the pods are nice and, and crispy. They're just breaking apart. As you can see, and the beans come out. So I can do that all the way down, collect them all, and then we'll break them apart and winnow them. It's called winnowing. Basically, you let the wind kind of blow the, the chaff away and leave just the beans. So I'm going to do that throughout. Not all of these are ready. There are a couple with some green uh, pods on them, but we're just going to knock down these plants, remove those, of course. We don't want any seeds in here to sprout for later. So look at all the bean pods on this one. Unfortunately, it looks like a couple of them have had some bugs drill holes in them. That's okay. We might lose a bean or two but most of these are looking really good. Quite a few pods, and with all this, I should be able to harvest quite a bit, honestly. Um, so if you guys remember just a couple weeks ago, right in this bed, excuse the water on top, it rained pretty heavily last night, but right in this bed here, I had some black-eyed peas as well that we harvested. But again, this is an eight by four, and it just didn't produce as much, but this plot, for some reason did produce a whole lot better each plant. I got a lot more bean pods off of each plant here. And I've got more than double the distance. We should get a lot. got quite a bit so now I just got to crush these so I just go through and crush and it should release all those seeds or beans and then we will go ahead and winnow this so I'm gonna spend a few minutes crushing this and I'll bring you guys back when I go to winnow but yeah all right come here Abby's with me. We're going to try to winnow this. Hey, um, step over there because you're going to block the wind. So, look. No, over, over here. Over here. Go away, cat. No, no, right there. Right there. It's fine. There. Come here. So, all we do, you can see we got a little wind. Go in. Now we 
had a couple of these that didn't break uh, apart very well, so you can see that right now. I'm stepping in. You gonna help me, Abby? Yeah, the cat was in your bed. That's okay. Cats are light, they're not gonna do anything. There you go. Bye, cat. Thanks. Too bad I got my gloves off. I'm gonna shoot a quick one. Alright, watch out. Look, you again? Yep. All right, guys, yeah. there we go. Not too bad, what do you think, Abby? We still got a couple of these hulls in there, some of them, but we can worry about that inside. It's just a couple yeah. of them. Is this a bad bean? Yeah, it's okay, just leave them. We'll, we'll fix, we'll sort it out inside. But there's really not much left. There's only a couple of these small ones that we missed, but. Yeah, not this bad. Is bad too. So there's a couple of them that got like uh, bugs ate through it and, and rotted. Yeah, so but we'll just pick through and that. And disease did. And disease, yep. Like this one. Ooh. It's kind of gross. And so. broke. But we'll we'll um we'll sort through that. And broke then. Yeah. Uh, and uh, but the rest of these, most of them look pretty pretty good. So I'm excited. We'll have some uh, black eyed pea, field pea. This might be the zipper cream, actually. So the last ones were the black eyed peas. Uh, this is a black eyed pea, it's a type, but it's, a, it's called the zipper cream pea. So they're a little creamier, they say, and taste better. So that's right, that's what I planted there. I forget sometimes what I plant, where I plant it, but I have to go back in previous video and re, you know, try to remind myself of that. So try to look to see exactly is that if that's what I planted. But I'm just going through and picking some of these extras out that still are in a pod. Looking good. Not bad, guys. That's probably about a pound and a half, maybe two pounds of beans. So really, really good. That'll be a couple meals. We'll probably get. Oh, good. Yeah, let's get those. Match up our beans. Well, I missed one. So, all right. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. I appreciate you guys coming along, and uh, I'm pretty excited about this. I'm gonna go cook some beans up probably in the next couple days. Uh, thanks for coming along. Yeah. If you guys like this kind of content, please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates. Also, if you could hit the like button, it would really help me and the channel out. I will see you on the next video. Now escape the daily grind. Yeah, now you go escape the daily grind. All right.